it's Thursday, July 15th. Some days it's easier to get out of bed than others. Today is not one of those days. Normally driving towards Canmore Banff, Lake Louise, mountains. Air quality index is at a five from the forest fires in BC and northwestern United States. And not a very good view today, folks. Where are you at today, Dog Walker Dave? Well, I am in Canmore. I have no idea what that noise is in the background. It almost sounds like elk. Hmm. We'll have to see about this. Anyway, so I'm going to do Grotto Mountain Trail for the first time. It's approximately anywhere from nine and a half to 11 kilometers, depending on going all trails. And some people say, no, that's not even close. It's closer, say it's closer to 10 and a half, 11 kilometers. 1,350 meters of elevation gain. Yeah, this is, is going to be, there's not going to be a whole lot of running of this. Here's what I'm looking at. Up there, topping out at uh, close to 2,800 meters of elevation. I haven't been up at that altitude in a very, very long time. It's not that much different than 2,300 meters, but I will notice a difference for sure. This is going to be uh, this going to be a good, good one. We'll check back in a bit. I was a little concerned about that noise, but I think it's just the horses, and they might even have some donkeys there. This is just at the start, so what we have here, those are Three Sisters Mountain, Canmore. You can probably guess why they're called Three Sisters. So here I am going, this is what I'm doing, oy vey. Uh, you can't really tell from the video how big that is. Just under two kilometers in, that took about 28, 29 minutes. Uh, it's no joke. Climbed uh, over 300 meters already, but I still have a thousand to go. We're doing the notch, nacho business. I might not be so chatty when I get to the top. I have a feeling that uh, I'll be hurting at the top. Air quality makes it, makes it tougher to breathe for sure. I am noticing, even though yes, it's uphill all the time, but I do notice it in the breathing. Oh, up we go. have a ways to go way up there this climb is no joke everyone I will not see tourists up on this one for sure It is. <laughs> it's slow going through here, ladies and gentlemen. Choose your own adventure. I hope anybody who's watching appreciates trying to do this with one hand on the camera.
This is what I call fun. Everyone, a little scrambling. Oh, oh there we go. It's that little part. Yeah, I guess the views are worth it so far. <laughs> This is probably the place they call the notch. That's what I'm guessing. So what I think I have to do is go up around, go up there, somehow back there, and then the summit is over there. Oh, lovely plaque for Tony Archer. Rest in peace, Tony. This is not a place to be for the faint of heart. Hey everyone, up at about 19 and about 1950 meters. I'm gonna put the camera away for a bit, stow it away. I need two of these things to climb because we're getting into some, some serious shit there. Definitely two hands on that. Find my way up there. But this is a lot of fun. <laughs> you go counterclockwise, a lot of people say counterclockwise on this route because if not, you go clockwise, you have to come down this. And that's a, that's a little sketch. It drops down a lot there very quickly. You lose your footing, which is easy to do on this. It's very, uh, a lot of loose rock you can go for a tumble and it's not gonna end well well everyone got my wits about me again that was uh, a lot of two-hand scramble this grotto is no joke <laughs> if you live in this area Calgary, Canmore, etc. Unless you can do something like Prairie and it seems easy, I would not recommend this. I'm not mining it. My fitness level is okay right now, but it is a lot of work. Came from way, 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 way down there. So what I have to do is, I believe that's where I have to go, and then across to do the counterclockwise loop and just uh, just fall off the edge. I think that might be the <laughs> might be the quickest way down. Not the safest. My head down, grinding away, and uh, <laughs> pick my head up. These guys, uh, three of them. And they're just making fun of me. Probably saying, what the hell are you doing up here, rookie? This is so cool. Oh, ow, a little rock just pops up straight like that. Still putting in the work, almost at the top. No, dog walker, you dumbass. Instead of going there, coming up the trail, or not really a trail or that one over there no dumbass you just I'd come up this crap <laughs> I think I'm starting to lose my marbles here how's this for a view everyone
ass. Oh my god. Made it to the top. Oh, that was work. Check it out, everyone. Oh. This is the uh, this is the money shot. Oh man! Oh, that was a lot of work, everyone. Air quality does not help, and I am I am not used to this altitude. Even though it's not that much higher than other stuff that I've climbed, but I'm now. Uh, well, that was 4.2 kilometers to this point. Actually, it's probably closer to 4.5. I didn't start it until a little bit late. And it took almost two hours and 40 minutes to give you an idea. Uh, climbed over 1,300 meters. I'm now currently sitting at over 2,700 meters altitude. Not sure how many feet that is for my American friends. And another part of the problem, I don't think I had enough calories. I did not expect it to take this long. I thought I'd get up a little bit under two hours, but I was, I was mistaken. That's okay. I'm learning from this, that's for sure. Uh, time to get a snack and then... Uh, Got to do a little ridge walk there. Can't remember the last time I did a ridge walk. Just doing the ridge walk here. Quite pleasant when you get some snacks in you. Some much needed calories. There could be worse places to be today, everyone. That main highway down there, that's the Trans Canada. For those who are familiar with this beautiful country. Not without our faults, but we are all hopefully working to get better. Having a little bit of geology in my background and being a former chemistry teacher, I'm guessing that the uh, orange parts of the rock would be iron. That would be my guess. So I'm gonna continue along the ridge. I'm not gonna film anything along there because it might be a little sketch. As the cool kids would say, sketch. I'll check back with you in a bit. I know I said I wasn't gonna film along this ridge walk, but I don't know if you can notice it, but there is almost zero wind. This is incredible. I know that I, I say that about every different mountain I'm on, but that's how much I love being out here. It'd be nice to have my wife out here with me for sure, or even some other company, but I don't mind doing these by myself. Then I can kind of go my own pace. I don't have to worry about anybody else. And it is deathly silent out here. And the views are okay. Okay, here's a better view of coming. Uh, it came from the other side bit of that, coming up around, and then continue up that little bit of, a, of an incline, just a little bit. There's the peak over there. Boys and girls, don't try this at home. Oh man, less than 10 kilometers took just over four and a half hours to give you a degree of difficulty of that. And it's currently about 28 degrees Celsius. I, uh, I need lots of fluid here. Thanks again for watching everyone. I really appreciate uh, following along my crazy adventures. 
hopefully it inspires you to do uh, some crazy things too. Do crazy shit. Have a great rest of your day. Consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Peace.